Hey again, this is Smidar and this is getting to be a habit where my videos get cut off and I have to share in two parts. I know that I can edit together the um, videos into one, but Universe is guiding me to um, shoot my videos unscripted and unedited and I've learned to listen to the universe because it knows things that I don't. So we left off talking about how strong emotions can leave energetic residuals in our homes and one of the ways that we can cleanse and clear those energies and clear our space. I mean, you guys are sensitive souls and spiritual beings, so you probably know lots of different ways. But I'm sharing this one with you just in case you haven't tried it or you haven't heard of it. It's a wonderful way to cleanse and energize a space. And it's also really beautiful. It's just gorgeous to have a candle going. And it's important to use a natural candle. Um, I use 100% natural beeswax. And, even, and with the, you have to make sure you get it from a good source. Um, because not... All these wax candles are pure. Um, you just want to, you just want to get your stuff from a trusted source. So, oh, I'm just mesmerized by the beauty of this light. So the smell of the beeswax candles, even before they're lit, are heavenly. They are just delicious. And um, and when they're lit, they leave a beautiful aroma in your home. And it's a natural one, so it doesn't it doesn't trigger um, people with uh, sensitivities, at least uh, generally speaking. Some people are very sensitive if you're triggered by beeswax and obviously don't use it. But it's not one that I've... And talking to you as a really super sensitive soul, um, I react to everything. So And I don't react to the beeswax, which is wonderful. That's not to say everybody is going to be the same. You have to trust your own uh, body and your own instincts and your own guidance. That's number one, always trust yourself. So the other thing I wanted to mention is that this candle is in a salt candle holder. And that just is added um, cleansing. Salt is Salt is magical. I mean, anybody who works with magic knows that, but uh, in case you don't, salt is a magical substance. Uh, it's so common, it's so inexpensive, and it's so everywhere that we don't necessarily tend to think of it as special, but it is so special. I could spend an hour just talking about salt. I've got lots of information on my website. And if you can't find it, just reach out to me. I'd be happy to send it to you. Um, so salt is an added benefit. And one of the things I've been doing is, well, this is something I've been guided to do. I've done it in the past is leave out bowls of salt in the house and cleanse the salt every week or so and if you've got big chunks of salt it's easy to do 
I also offer small packages in um, these really pretty um, boxes of salt and you could just use those in a pinch. They're great to have on hand and they're great to take with you if you're traveling because they're easy to pack and there's lots of salt in there. You open it up and you um, leave it open in a room and it will just naturally um, draw in any toxic or unwanted energies. And then when you're done, you just uh, return it to the earth. And if you're not anywhere where you can get to um, some land, you can rinse them down the sink because they will just melt and, and they'll get they'll go back into the earth that way. It's really great to use natural stuff that the earth not only is able to decompose, but also that the earth loves and appreciates, not just the earth, animals and, and trees love the salt. They love the salt. And that reminds me of Um, a documentary that I saw a long time ago that really stayed with me. It just really um, resonated with me about how this whole cycle of how bears will eat salmon and the salmon carry the salt from, from the oceans and then when the bears are done, other animals come and eat the remains and the salt gets um, absorbed into the earth and the trees in this area absolutely need certain minerals in the salt to thrive. And the this salt comes from so far away from the oceans, far away. And the salmon swim so far to bring the trees this salt that comes to them in such a circular way because the salmon are eaten by the bears and the bears leave the scraps and the bears also um, produce waste that ends up getting into the earth. I mean, it's all connected. And there are things, I never would have known that if I hadn't seen the documentary. There are so many things that we don't know and so many connections that are made that we need to happen in order for life to thrive. And these are things that are not logical and that we wouldn't have been able to figure out um, necessarily so simply and, and yet they happen all the time and these are like that story is just what we're aware of there's so much that goes on that we're not aware of so enjoy this beautiful candlelight that I'm sending out to you over the distance and may it fill your space with cleansing energies and love and light and we will see you again soon.